when we arrived the first night we showed up on the corner at UVA, we were either going to be a, a smashing success or we were going to be those, those bike dorks. And as it played out, the UVA community just absolutely embraced the rickshaws and it's just fun. Hi, this is Christoph Kirby. I'm one of the two owners of Happy Rickshaw, along with my business partner, Ian Ayers. This is a little company that we started in summer of 2006. We're heading into our third very hot summer. Clearly, this isn't something that you would have seen on the streets of Charlottesville two, three, four years back. And when we first made our appearance, people were surprised. People pointed fingers our way and sort of didn't know what to think about it. Word of mouth spread. Everyone realized it was a, uh, a fun way to get around, a way to get around out in the open air, sort of moving at a more human pace. And there's definitely been momentum building up, being excited about it and uh, spreading the word about traveling by rickshaw. Ian and I both raced for the, uh, the club team at UVA when we were students and proceeded to race professionally, both of us on different teams for two years. We stayed in Charlottesville and uh, trained many, many, many hours together. We realized there was really no better way to, to pour our energy that we have for cycling into something that is an asset to Charlottesville and the community and the university scene. Well, we presently have a group of about 15 to 20 drivers that we pull from. It tends to be the alternative minded people that, that drive the rickshaws, people that want to try something different. So we get some very interesting characters as drivers. And that really defines a lot of what Happy Rickshaw is. It's the eccentric personalities that are, that are shuttling these rickshaws. At this point, the company has reached a, a pretty good size for for the UVA, um, the nightlife scene that we've been targeting so far, we're about 15 to 20 drivers. We have four rickshaws and we, we operate three nights a week. The alternative transportation options are really where, where things are headed these days with gas prices going through the roof. So there's no doubt that a gasless, zero petroleum transportation form like this one, transportation form is really, uh, really what we're looking at. But with more people and more open minds in Charlottesville, the rickshaw business is only going to grow. 